843, it is time for Susie Wall style. Chatelaine Susie Wall with us each and every Wednesday at this time. We always look forward to it. It's great to be here. And what are you talking about today? I'm a little scared. Trend alert! <laughs> <laughs> Denim skirt. Denim skirt. Okay, so we always give so many props to the boyfriend jean and the blue jean cousin, the skinny, the high waist, da da da. Major street trend right now is we're seeing the resurgence of the denim skirt, which you were saying I've already been there. I don't I'm know not if allowed I to wear go it. Back. No, once you go through a fashion trend, are you not supposed to avoid? doing it the second time. Not my jam at all. I say go for it with okay. some fresh modern details. Tell me. Okay, so first up I've got a high-waisted version that I want to show you. I absolutely love this silhouette. Now Jody, I always talk about the high-waisted denim jean, but I always talk about it with a boyfriend uh, blazer or something to cover your tuchus because there's this evil mother nature twist with a high boyfriend, high-waisted denim that makes your bum look like two feet long. Right. right. It, it stretches the tuchus. Not the case with the high-waisted denim skirt, of course. I love the embellishment um, along the bottom. I don't know if you can notice that detail, but look right. at it. An ivory silk blouse, high-waisted denim skirt, and she looks off the charts amazing. Nothing She's fancy. She's 5'10". No, you know what? I would say maybe five seven, five eight. But 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 I would do this. You would, I'm five and you could, you could rock it. But I, you've got you've got middle. Well, I've got, yeah, I got, I do. I've got no middle. If I wore that skirt, it would look like. You know, well, I, I was wearing a bustier that just ended at my knees. But split the di difference on the thermostat, right? Go halfway and then have something slightly tailored on top. But I'm always going to say, especially with that length, to have a lift. You know, I'm always saying, well, you can wear a, a white sporty trainer with anything. Not always the case when it comes to the denim right. skirt, especially in summer. It really does look better with just a little bit of elevation. Right. So you want to add a little glam to yeah, that. Yeah, wedge espadrille or something. Right. I okay. mean, sure, if you're wearing a denim midi, if you're a millennial and you're heading to Jericho. I'm not a millennial. Throw on some flip-flops and you can pull that off, no problem. Right. Uh, but I want to show you, I think my next one is the pencil skirt. This ultimately for me is the best silhouette. Now she's got buttons up and down the front. She's got her buttons a little undone. Is but, that a Canadian tuxedo? Is that? Uh, almost, yes, that is a Canadian tuxedo, it's tuxedo the Jean St. Jean. All of these in, uh, images today are via Pinterest and I love how she's got contrasting shades of denim. But you know what, casual Fridays in Vancouver at the right. office, maybe you're not a jean girl, but you want it, you're a skirt girl. This yeah. is a great great way to sort of like a hybrid model of um, wearing something that's casual but slightly elevated. Doesn't she look cool and chic? I just she think does. the pencil skirt for me in a denim format is flattering on so many silhouettes. You can have booty, you can be pin thin, whatever you want to do, it always to me looks flattering and elegant if the top is relatively tailored. You don't want the big flouncy off the shoulder volume no. on top, right? I love the pencil skirt when we were talking about a denim skirt. I was thinking, well, that's probably the only way I'd go because I can't rock the short denim No, we, we're not. A, no, skirt. we're not. No, no, no. 30 and under, no. 35 and but under, but which is strange I'm because not. I don't have a problem rocking cutoffs. So there's something about the like denim the mini and the more tatters and the more worked in the better, but there is sort of an age limit with that. Uh, but long denim, again, cross generational. Let's take a look at this. I absolutely think she looks so chic, very Europe meets the West Coast. Notice again, she's got a lift. I think this is uh, outside of Paris Fashion Week. But, but uh, for me, another great story here is see that, that sort of toffee caramel brown coat she's mm -hmm. got on. I love that tone against the denim. Maybe do it in a belt with a pretty uh, wedge sandal of the same tone. There's something about navy, brown, bl uh, white against denim that is fresh and cool. And that black turtleneck with those shoes, that oh. coat and that handbag. It's impossibly Sh chic. Right. You it's could, 100 you could, out of 10. You could almost be wearing pajama bottoms with that outfit. I know, still right? Rock, well, and with that face, it all comes together, really. <laughs> so unfortunate. <laughs> a difficult silhouette to pull off is the midi. So to hit between the knee and the ankle for the mm. denim skirt looks great with a boot, right, in, in the fall if the leg is covered. But that's, a, that's a, a hot silhouette right now. But in denim, there's something about it, especially us being diminutive. Yeah, I know. It is difficult to pull off. But the full skirt to the knee, I think we've got a strong shot here of this. I, I love this look, right? Party-ish. It's celebratory. I like um, that. This you could do with a white trainer, I believe, but I love that they've got some lift with it. This is a darker denim, obviously, then it takes it more into evening. It's kind of a 50s, 60s vibe to it. Really, it's just flat out pretty for me, Put right? skirt it up. But definitely, if you're trying on your denim skirt, my one tip, don't spend too much. This could come and go just as fast as it rolled into the station. And number two, always make sure, oh, Canadian Tuxedo, Olivia Palermo. I love this look. This is my look of the day. Always make sure you've got a 360 
360 degree mirror when you're trying on your denim skirts, right? And don't don't break the bank on this, please, please. Okay, that's she my choice. Did. That's the one that oh, I would. It's unbelievable. She's yeah, amazing. I mean, yeah. how often do we reference her in a year? Unbelievable. Uh, a million times, right? I think. There you go. Chatelaine, <laughs> Susie Wall, always here. Great follow on Twitter and Instagram. Always so chic. Always so fun. And Chatelaine on newsstands now. Yes, current issue on newsstands Fix now.